In fake rejection news. Hmm. Don't say no, say oh. <laughs> <laughs> Submitted by the Armenian Joseph. Oh, it's like a hairier me. <laughs> a college student wins over $250,000 in court after his ex girlfriend tried to ruin his career. Oh, <gasps> I saw this shit. Fucking shady oh, ex girlfriend. Tell us. Rap career? I don't know what type, but it was like, oh, you should be going to this university. But she's like, no, I want you to stay with me. <laughs> but it was like, she's stay Asian. Stay with me. <laughs> so she like, uh, like defamed him, kind of like, like ruined his reputation. And oh, she wanted him to be close to her. I just saw this meme. I didn't read the story. <laughs> oh, come on! You just said I saw this. That's how rumors start. Also, all I saw was her picture, start. his picture. And then it was he was awarded two hundred thousand something dollars. You don't know anything, is what you're telling us. Because she ruined his chances. That's exactly what the headline was. <laughs> yeah, that is nothing new. I saw the picture, Gio. All right, man, I, you read say the that. I read the picture. I read. I read the caption on the meme, and I thought it was only a meme. I thought you knew more beyond the title, dude. Yeah, <laughs> we all just heard that. We're all on the same page now. Thank you, Joe. I know one step ahead. But yeah, go, go ahead. She's Asian. He's white. Whoa. Is he, is he right at least? Yeah, he's right. Oh, okay. Can we hear the real story now? All right. So the real story is this, this guy named Eric, 24 years old, from Canada. He is a serious musician who plays the clarinet. I knew he was a musician. He's now an elite Wait, musician. a serious clarinet player? That one got a fucking picture like this? Is he, where does he play in an orchestra somewhere? Uh, now he does, yeah. Okay, so like that's the only a, feasible. That's true, because I never heard of a clarinet solo. Solo. Yeah. Solo. A clarinet solo. A solo. A solo clarinet. Solo clarinet player. Yeah, they have it in symphonies What's, and isn't stuff. Isn't like Kenny? What does Kenny G play? Uh, alto, exactly. no, 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 uh, no, no, uh, soprano saxophone. Soprano yeah, saxophones, sax. that, that makes more sense. But that's, but that's jazz, <laughs> Why in my head was it clarinet? Do you know why? <laughs> no, that's, that's jazz, though. But in, like, symphonies and, like, classical music, there's clarinet solos. Yeah, it so the orchestra weird. or a symphony. Because nobody hears that shit. My hood homies yeah. told me that shit, all right? Me, me, me. Yeah, see, that's exactly what I pictured, though. Oh, my God. That's exactly what I pictured as well. <laughs> I, like how, I like how they have this action shot of him fucking, like, going to town. <laughs> like, that, that clarinet shit is the equivalent of a fucking rock star going like this and shit. You know, I was gonna show like you no guys Gibson. a clip of one of his recitals, yeah. but I was like, nah, they don't care about that. that. But now I regret not getting the video, because it's fucking funny. You know what's interesting? You could just tell by somebody's hair how hairy their body is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Moving on. She <laughs> ruined his clarinet career? Not necessarily, dude. That boy could shoulder his clarinet, dude. I've seen a lot of guys that have thinning hair, but then they have crazy Crazy five o'clock shadow, like crazy. And then but here, you, you Eric, can also tell from ears. this guy, his dress shirt has never touched his skin. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking floating on him. <laughs> that fool got hair like bed springs that fucking over his shirt. <laughs> yeah. Like a fucking sort of mattress and shit. Yeah, you guys are brutal. <laughs> Oh, yo, man. He's the victim here. Yeah, his clarinet career is ruined. Come on. Yeah, dude, because his fucking ex. Okay, so this is Jennifer. Fucking cocksucker. I know you fucking hey, she bitch. might be a JK fan, guys. I don't care. So that guy might be a JK I fan, dude. Just in case. She's fucking You look like the Asian girl I waste my porn on all the time, dude. Uh -huh. Wow. Waste your porn. Uh, wait, let's talk about like that. Fucking, you know, like, because, like, nowadays, remember I told you guys recently I saw porn for a very specific reason. And, you know, like, you, you filter through all this porn. A lot of it's that amateur shit now, and they all look like that. You waste your porn. And on. so you what click it, mean? you click it. Like, when I used to watch porn more avidly, there was a lot prettier girls. Yeah. And now they all look like just. Uh, they, and it's like in a weird bedroom like that now. So they took over the porn yeah, that you watch? Yeah, it's like amateur, like, blurry shit. It's like the popular thing now. Nobody told me about this shit. It wasn't very fun. All right, here's mm. another photo. Like so she's classic. a flute player. She's yeah. also a very serious musician. So they met at the same school. She looks like she's trying yeah, to fucking wins. blow out a birthday candle or like. <laughs> That's how you do it. You do it. Some lipstick. Yeah. I was a flute player. Flute is a brass instrument. Yeah, I was. No, it's a woodwind. It's a woodwind. Is it? It's woodwind. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? It doesn't matter what the materials mean. I played flute too. Yeah, but I didn't know. Who didn't fuck? Why didn't you guys tell me? You played the flute? Yeah. For real? Uh, I just said I played the flute. last chair. <laughs> that fucking flute was been tiny in your big ass hands though. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a chop, <laughs> fucking chopstick and shit. <laughs> that shit looked like this. What's this one then that was really small? 
The recorder? No, no. no. The piccolo is like this, but it's both slow. hella horny. Yeah. Yeah. No, you mean the clarinet? Flutes. You mean this one, Gio? <laughs> oh, that's the dick. He goes, my teacher told me this was a flute. <laughs> oh. All right, so anyway. for you. <laughs> so that ex-girlfriend. flutes. That ex-girlfriend's name is Jennifer. And Ooh, calling her out. Jennifer Kim, huh? Lee. I knew it. That was Drag my second her. guess. Drag her. She looked Korean. Jennifer oh. Lee. That was my second guess. Wait. I'm just kidding. Korean or Chinese? She looks Chinese. I didn't really see her face. Korean. This is, this is when Asians like, no, you take her. No, you fucking take her. I don't know. I think I think she's you're Korean because she, she got that vengeful <laughs> shit. Yeah. But but if she got that like the, that Chinese family that cares about like prestige and shit like that. Then uh, those bitches turn out real bad, and that's when they hook onto their boyfriend. I think she's Chinese because she got that Chinese fob room in that picture. Oh, okay. When yeah. Asians do something great, like every Asian tries to claim them. Like the most pixelated they, room ever. It's like I don't want Look them at those anymore. like fucking stuffed animals. Like, those fucking pictures. colors. She that's looks Chinese. Korean too, though. No, that is not Korean, dude. Oh shit. Wait, anyway, I'll tell you guys the story. Her nose she looks is. not Korean. Yeah, so, that's what I'm. That's tell me the story, and I'll tell you what the rest. What she do? Okay, so furniture doesn't look Korean to me either. Yep, <laughs> it smells like mothballs. You don't have to there. wait for people. Do what I you do. want to say. Tell me, I'll say it. Oh yeah, you're better. You should do this. I'll okay. shout over everyone. <laughs> now they all quieted down. Okay, so Eric had been training since he was seven years old for nearly his entire life. Whoa. For this opportunity, which is to study under one of the best clarinet teachers on the planet on a full ride scholarship Damn. to Colburn Con Conservatory of Music in he Los was Angeles. The chosen clarinet oh. Jedi, and he was being taught by the clarinet motherfucking Yoda of all time. Yeah, it's only yeah. two. <laughs> Finish the sentence. Oh, oh, all time. Oh. Of all. Yes. All, all. time. <laughs> Damn it, Joe. <laughs> Yeah, so this guy, the Yoda, I got tired. Yeah, the Yoda teacher, he was only accepting two students for this Damn. full ride. He was one of them. What? This was back in. He's Mar lazy. He doesn't want that many students. No, what a lazy bastard. Or for for free. The other ones are paying. He's only two full ride seats. Uh, I don't know. It's so, up to you, Tim, if he's lazy or not. I don't know. Lazy. So anyway, this guy's name is Yuda Gil. Oh, Yuda. 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 <laughs> Yoda, it's Yoda. Damn, <laughs> this is what he looks like. The Armenian Yoda. Damn. If he was green, he was Yoda best. Like Yoda best. You will play. Mickey. Yeah, it's Y. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job, Gio. Thanks. <laughs> you, I, I heard it. She said Yoda best. Yeah. Anyway, so that's the teacher, right? And so, <laughs> so apparently Eric Yuda lived Chris. with this girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Yuda Chris. <laughs> Way better. Uh, Unicris. <laughs> Pretty well, yeah, Unicris. All right. So anyway, so she hacked into Eric's email because he left his email on his Facebook open. They lived together. He had a lot of trust. She hacked into the email. She created a fake email account. Whoa. Under the teacher, and she sent a rejection letter to Eric, <gasps> and she also rejected the scholarship with the teacher. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, so she was jealous that she didn't get. The, oh, the Udacris spot. That's a no, good angle. She's a flute player and he's a clarinet teacher. What's the difference? He, I don't know, a different instrument. But the point is, this is this her. way. That's the this point. Is this way. The point is, she didn't want yeah. him to leave. Oh, I thought she was jealous of his success. No, because the, oh, they're I, in Canada and this they, would be in LA. Were they already ex boyfriend? No. 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 They're, they're together. together. They had to? Huh? Well, he would have to leave she Canada and go to LA. Yeah. yeah. Dude, how good is they this? They could have still been dick? together. Not yeah. in her eyes, though. Yeah, in her eyes, too. So then like, Eric huh. says that he just was numb when he read the email. He had to read a few more times. He went through some super dark, sad, angry days. I would have cried like a little bitch. Yeah, that was his whole life. Oh, yeah, God. but then, like, in the rejection letter, she even, like, she had the teacher make an offer to him to, like, lessen the blow of the, rejects, the rejection, was, which was to give him a spot at... University of Southern California with five thousand dollars Canadian dollars a year, which would be too expensive for him to afford. So he had to obviously reject. She's that. so calculated. Yeah, God like damn. That. Like fucking calculated. Ooh, that so. sounds Korean as a motherfucker. Yeah, just a little bit, man. <laughs> just a little bit, little fucking Kaseki cock sucking bitch. Oh. Yeah. So she, he She's stayed. Selfish. He decided to stay at that same oh. school to finish his his degree. Man, he must have real good dick. That's what I'm thinking, dude. That it's fucking fuzzy ass dick. <laughs> <laughs> you got a fucking pipe cleaner dick. <laughs> She's like, I don't want him to 
leave me, he's gonna find another clarinet player in LA. That's exactly what she probably it's thought. It's like a yeah. like a cattail and shit, dude. It's like, wow, go ahead. I want my fuzzy caterpillar back. <laughs> so then six months after that whole rejection thing, they ended up breaking up because things weren't working out. And then, oh. so he decided, he was still determined to study under that particular Good for him. So he decided to audition for a place at USC where he was teaching. After he graduated already. Oh my uh, god. And so Poor now god. he's auditioning there. He's like, I felt this tension in the room. It was kind of weird. And obviously he felt the weirdness because he got rejected. So yeah. he thought. What's up, Eudacris? What's going on? So then that's when the teacher was like, Why are you here? And then the dude was like, Oh, well, I mean, I know you rejected me, but I wanted to audition. He's like, No, you rejected me. And so Ooh. that was kind of weird. So he was like, Oh, that's weird. Damn. And then like, they started making out. No, then he was like, <laughs> You rejected me, I rejected you. It's like the notebook where she's like, she's like, why didn't you write the letters? He's, wrote, oh, yeah. he's like, I wrote you letters every single day. Yeah. And she was like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom hid yeah. them the whole time. Yeah. Anyway, so then, um, so he was offered another full scholarship and he was awarded a position at USC certificate program and began studying under him. Hell yeah. So it was gonna be, Obviously, like more expensive. Also, the like he still been, had like, to pay. But eyeballing him, like I wanted you as my motherfucking disciple, and you yeah. rejected me, bitch. Yeah. Like you know, I only take two disciples, right. and you rejected me. So then a few months like, later, I would never do such a thing. And then they fucking make out. <laughs> <laughs> they make out. They make out. So then a few months later, one of that teacher's former students approached Eric after a performance and said, "Why didn't you study here at Colburn when you had the chance?" And then that's when Eric was like. What, what the heck? Like, how come everyone's saying that I rejected so, this? It's so small that they, they talked about it. Did you hear yeah. that so and so yeah. rejected it? No one's ever rejected this. Because it's literally like somebody yeah. giving you a million dollars and saying, no. And this yeah. is the cream of the crop, so I think yeah. there's only like a handful of people yeah. at the, in the like space. It's such a coveted like position. Yeah, like that's, like, that's like no one ever rejects yeah. Kobe. Yeah, so then yeah, he had a chance to up. play basketball with him. We, yeah. we got we got it when you said Kobe. Yeah, so yeah. then Eric Not Kobe B. Okay. People, and he was able to trace that fake email, or he tried to trace that fake email, but there was no luck. And then that's when a friend finally suggested, what about Jen? Like, you lived with her, she had access to your computer, she could have easily done all this. Oh, that means that friend didn't fucking like her ever. I don't know, but then that's when, that's when Eric yeah, you would never suspect tried it. to hack into the email, he tried to, different passwords that she would have used and finally one of them unlocked that email account. And so Which was went, what? Jen and Harry Forever? That's funny. <laughs> it's like a movie. Eric, but yeah. Eric, that's his name. Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Jen and fucking Bed Springs Forever. No, no. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Eric sued Jennifer for $300,000 in general damages, including loss of reputation, loss of educational opportunity, and loss of two years of potential yeah. income. The judge tacked on an extra $50,000 yes. against Jennifer for her despicable interference in his career. This is one of the lawsuits that I actually feel really good yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, oh. save. You Justified. They should have done more, because he, he actually sued for a reasonable amount. Yeah. yeah. Sued for a million. That's what those Canadians do, man. They sue for reasonable amounts. It's <laughs> <laughs> a reasonable amount. If this was fucking bitch. LA, that's 20 million, bitch. That's why bitch. we actually feel for the victim, because they're not a sue happy society. Yeah. Fuck that bitch, so, man. I want to show you a photo of Eric now with his current girlfriend. Is Another Asian? Asian girl? No. no. Okay. Oh, dude, you learned your lesson, dude. It kind of looks like Gina. Really? I mean, from this angle. And then I'm going to play... I'm She's gonna a pretty play, girl. I'm going to play a clip of an interview that he did. Yeah, he's uh, yeah. hairy as fuck. This is possibly the most disturbing thing that she was the one who was there like consoling me you know she was the shoulder that that, that i was leaning that on. bitch is insane the fact that she was the one that did i it. knew you were trouble when you walked uh, in I, I just can't believe that someone cannot have an overwhelming amount of guilt just you know lying to someone betraying someone like that how's he smiling i Damn, knew you were trouble because he's like three hundred thousand dollars richer oh yeah that's I knew you were trouble. But I mean, you this is, they, they've been broken up for years already, yeah. too. Oh. At this point. Because he already finished yeah, college. Finished yeah. college and everything. Yeah. Oh, damn. And then she was just like, well, he doesn't know I ruined his life anyways. Yeah. What a uh, oh, How conniving, how fucking journey. evil, how, what the f So where, where is this girl now? 
That's what I want to know. She's peeing him now. She's watching this episode is what's happening because she's a fan. <laughs> we don't want you. Go away. I do. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Go away. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> That just means she's a hardcore lover. We're cutting now, so you don't watch it. Yeah, I bet you're happy we made fun of this hairy ass, aren't you? Go away. <laughs> We're leaving you. 